You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. There are possible new clues today as investigators try to piece together evidence in the Boston bombing. Overnight, agents found a stash of fireworks in a used clothing do donation bin not far from the shootout. FBI technicians hauled the bins away by truck. They are now poring over the explosives for any possible links. With more on the far-reaching investigation, we are joined by ABC's Devin Dwyer. Morning, Devin. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, Diana. You know, we're learning some new details this morning about how the suspected bombers tried to flee Boston. Officials say they may have had plans to party in New York City. These dramatic new photos show the brothers Sarnayev in a gun battle with police, moments before the older Tamerlan was killed in the street as the younger Johar escaped to that backyard boat. Their only weapon, officials say, was a 9 millimeter handgun. This morning, the Sarnayev parents told a Russian news agency they're headed to the U.S. to claim Tamerlan's body. U.S. intelligence agencies say after a Russian tip in 2011, Tamerlan was added to a terrorist watch list, but officials say the system had insufficient information to raise alarms. We contacted the Russians on three different occasions to ask for more information and nothing was forthcoming. In Boston, more signs the city is trying to move on. Crowds visited memorials at the bomb site as local businesses repaired scars from the blast. At nearby hospitals, 34 wounded victims are still recovering. Carlos Arredondo, that man in the cowboy hat, was reunited with the man he saved. I saw Jeff, you know, in, in a big puddle of blood, you know, and he was missing two limbs. And you got to do the best you can. Across town, thousands of mourners hailed a hero who didn't survive, slain MIT police officer Sean Collier. If the purpose of terrorism is to instill fear, you saw none of it here in Boston. Boston, you sent a powerful message to the world. Now, Johar Sarnayev, who faces the death penalty, will have an all-star legal defense team. His top lawyer, a public defender, also represented shoe bomber Richard Reed in 2001. John and Diana. Hey, Devin, we've heard that Johar is being cooperative with authorities and providing details about the plot. Will that information be admissible in court? Well, authorities say much of the information they've gotten from Johar has come out before he was formally charged on Monday. That means it came out, he confessed to these details before he was read his constitutional rights, the so-called Miranda warning. It's unclear if that information, those details, will be admissible in a criminal trial. But officials say they may not need it. They have plenty of other evidence. Diana and John. All right, Devin Dwyer in Washington, thank you.